Hi everyone and welcome back to Conquering Math, where it all adds up. Today we'll be talking about unit rates, which is something we use in our everyday lives, whether we're talking about the miles of driving we can do on one gallon of gas, um, the miles we travel in one hour, the cost of buying one pound of a food. Unit rates are something that come up quite often. So today we'll be looking at them again and doing a deeper dive into using unit rates. The learning target today is I can find and apply the unit rate of two quantities to solve multi-step problems. Let's talk about rates and unit rates quickly. A rate is a specific type of ratio where each quantity in the ratio has a different unit. For example, miles per gallon or dollars per pound. A unit rate is when a single unit of one quantity is compared to another quantity. Unit rates can be found in a similar method to finding the value of a ratio so we'll be dividing the two numbers by each other to simplify down into a unit rate. Our job in the first example is to find the unit rate of the relationship. We'll have to give both answers. So in this case we have three dollars and sixty cents to eight pounds. So the first thing we need to do is rewrite as a fraction and divide. Three dollars and sixty cents divided by eight pounds is forty-five cents per pound. Now the other option is to do 8 pounds divided by $3.60, and we find that we can buy 2.22 pounds for every $1. So the item costs 45 cents per pound, or you can buy approximately 2.22 pounds for every dollar. Our job in example number two is to find the unit rate and use it to fill in the missing box in the ratio table. So we have this meatball recipe that requires three and a third cups of breadcrumbs for every five pounds of meat. We can start by finding the unit rate where we have one pound of meat, and so we need to divide by five. Now three and one-third cups divided by five is two-thirds of a cup. Now that we have the unit rate, we can find out how many cups of breadcrumbs are required to make two pounds of meatballs. So we'll multiply by two, and we have four-thirds cups, which is one and one-thirds of a cup. So you will need one and one-thirds cups of breadcrumbs to make two pounds of meatballs using this recipe. Let's apply unit rates to a real-world problem. Sabrina's car had a full 18-gallon gas tank when she started her road trip. She has traveled 299.75 miles so far and used 11 gallons of gas when she stops for a break. Her next planned stop is 175 miles away. Can she wait until the next stop to get gas, or does she need to fill the tank now? We know that Sabrina has driven 299 and 3 quarters miles on 11 gallons of gas so far. We can use this information to find a unit rate of 27.25 miles per gallon. She has 7 gallons remaining in the gas tank, so if we multiply these two numbers together, we find that she has 190.75 miles left to go. Sabrina can drive 190.75 miles on her seven remaining gallons of gas, so she can wait to fill up at her next stop. Your job for this problem is to find the unit rate of the relationship. You'll need to give both answers and round to the nearest thousandth if necessary. A cyclist rides 40.3 miles in 3.25 hours. Pause the video, try it on your own, and unpause it when you're ready to check your work. Okay, you ready? Let's take a look. The first thing we need to do is divide 40.3 miles by 3.25 hours, and this will give us a unit rate of 12.4 miles per hour. The other option is to divide 3.25 hours by 40.3 miles, which gives us approximately 0.081 hours for one mile. This means that the cyclist rides 12.4 miles per hour, or it takes her approximately 0.081 hours 4 minutes and 52 seconds to ride one mile. Now you should be ready to apply unit rates to solve this problem. Joe's new book has 307 pages and he has set a goal to finish it within a week. He read 128 pages in the first three days. Can Joe reach his goal by the end of the week if he continues at this average pace? Pause the video, try the problem, and unpause it when you're ready. We know that Joe's current reading rate is 128 pages in three days. 
If we divide these two numbers, we find that he has a unit rate of 42 and two-thirds pages each day. He needs to read 179 remaining pages in four days. So we multiply 42 and two-thirds pages per day times four days, which is 170 and two-thirds pages. Unfortunately, Joe will need to read a little more each day, or he'll need to read an extra eight and a third pages on the last day to meet his goal. In today's lesson, you learn to find and apply the unit rate of two quantities to solve multi-step problems. Remember that a rate is a specific type of ratio where each quantity in the ratio has a different unit, for example, miles per gallon or dollars per pound. A unit rate is when a single unit of one quantity is compared to another quantity. Thanks for watching this episode of Conquering Math. You can subscribe by clicking the button below and you'll get access to more videos as soon as they're posted. You can also head over to conqueringmath.com to find guided notes for this video and to check out all the materials that I have available. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you next time.